Greetings and salutations, dear viewers, and welcome once again to the realm of Final Fantasy XIV, where today we're going to be tackling one of the new trials added in the recent patch. This trial is not an extreme mode primal, it's a little different. We're going to be fighting Odin in Earth's Fount. The Odin fight is kind of an oddly placed one. Because fighting him is not like fighting one of the extreme mode primals that generally drops very high level, very high item level gear. In fact, for beating Odin, about all you get out of it is bragging rights and a, a piece of glamour gear. It's item level 50 gear, but you have to be item level 95 in order to even enter. So it's purely for g glamour gear. The fight itself is not nearly as mechanically complex as an extreme mode primal fight. However, to everyone out there and to everyone who would potentially queue for this in the future, please do keep in mind that the item level requirement for this is the same as the item level requirement for Shiva Extreme. Even if it's not mechanically hard, you need gear if you have any intention of taking this fight down. And perhaps because all it gives is glamour gear, there's quite a wait to get in. Now, not only is there quite the wait to get in, but people don't seem to understand what I mentioned before, which is that there is a very high item level requirement for this fight. So people who are perhaps not exactly into the extreme mode primals have attempted to take on this fight. In turn, it's also very difficult to get a win. Not only is the, are the DPS checks very tight, but this entire fight is, a, is the healer's fight. Every single time we died, every single time we lost, it was because the healers couldn't keep up with the damage. Well, perhaps not every single time, but that's probably the biggest hurdle to overcome. And if you manage to find a couple healers that can actually keep up, then the biggest trouble is getting the DPS in. Because this entire fight is a DPS check. As I mentioned though, don't expect to win the first time in. The first time I did this on patch day, I won, and I'm in retrospect, I'm not sure how, considering how much trouble, I, trouble I've had getting a win for this recording. But look at how awesome this hero moment is! The, entar the entire party is wiping, one of the tanks is down, only one tank is left, and he eats it! He actually ate the one major attack that Odin will do that will kill most people! And I pulled hate and I run off to the side and I'm frickin' hitting Fist of Earth and Second Wind and doing all my crap! and going, that's okay, I got this, and I know darn well if he hits me with that one tank move, I'm gonna die outright. And then limit break three, and everybody's back alive again. Oh man, and then he's doing Shin Zintensuken when he's got like 30% of his HP left, 27% of his HP left, and there is no way we're going to kill him before he finishes casting this. This is the major DPS check of the fight. You have to kill him before he finishes casting this, and he will start casting it, I'm quite sure, at a set amount of time into the fight. This is what happens if you fail that DPS check. So that hurt a little. The entire fight, as I mentioned, is a DPS check to avoid that specifically. And that can potentially not even be the DPS's fault for not being able to meet the DPS. Um, as I mentioned before, this is the healer's fight. 
and if they can't keep up with the healing and one of the DPS dies, you may not meet that DPS check, especially if you have a lot of the DPS die and have to get back up. So, just as a heads up, the tanks, the party members, everybody is going to be getting hammered in this fight. And it's really rough to keep for the healers to keep at it. So if there's anything you can do to help the healers out, do it. And given something probably will go wrong, try to crank out as much DPS as you can in the meantime. Now the majority of this fight, mechanically, is reasonably simple. For the most part, it's don't stand in crap. He has a couple attacks such as Valknut there, or something of the sort, which is a large AoE directly around him. It's simple enough to run away and then run back in again, keep beating on him. Though I did start to change up my rotation a little bit so I could get a real good burst in when I wasn't having to run away. And then he's got his tank hitter, which is the Sanigin or Sanguin or something like that. But um, that attack will actually hit an unprotected tank for th at least three quarters of their total HP. Um, our tank here was actually telling the healers to make sure to put Adloquium and Stone Skin on the tank after every single Val... 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 Val or whatever. Just to help counter the sheer damage. And you can see he got hit from that and knocked down to like a tenth of his HP. So the tank is going to be getting hammered. On top of that, there's just an occasional burst in the middle of the arena. There's the Stripe AoEs that seem to be fairly common in this patch. So there's a fair amount of dancing. And then there's um, Hail of Stone, or some such, which will select a random, like, three or so people and put an AoE around him. You can, of course, run out of the way, and it'll miss entirely. Um, later on in the fight, he starts doing, like, two or three of those in a row. So dodging the first one, you may not be safe, because he may do it again while you're dodging the first one. Now, the cross AoEs are similar to the line, the stripe AoEs. They happen at approximately the same time in his rotation, and really it's just a different variation on the, the same attack. Now, Einherar is one of the more troublesome attacks, and this is where it starts getting really nasty on the healers, because Einherar puts a bleed effect on everyone in the party, and it's not going to go away for a long time. After that comes Gungnir. This is sort of a DPS check, but it's a soft DPS check. When he does Gungnir, it'll put a very large AoE around three people, do not cross these AoEs, do not get a person hit by more than one of these. Once it clears, the entire arena will have a bleed effect in it. So as long as you're standing alive, you will be bleeding. And it will hurt. You have to run about and kill all of the Gungnirs in order to get this bleed effect to go away. It's a soft DPS check because the healers are going to run out of the ability to heal if you don't kill those fast enough. And from here, his pattern mostly repeats. If you've made it for through the first Gungnir, you've generally got a pretty good handle on this fight. And it's just a matter of getting the DPS out. Though you can still get worn down by the end of it. Because we saw Ein Herar go out again, so we had the bleed effect on us again. He's doing a lot more AoEs simultaneously now. So you've got to be on the move, and then when you're dodging one, you suddenly have to dodge another, and then dodge another. Hail of Stone is getting more numerous. Um, of note is he can also put a slow effect on you, though I'm not entirely sure what causes it. 
if it's a specific ability or maybe it's hail of stone and I just got too close to one or something. But here you can see the large circular AoEs again. I'm trying to place it sort of close to the middle of the arena, but also not catch anybody else in it, just so we don't have to run as far to get to the gun there. Um, you want to be, on one hand, you want to be bunched up for AoE heals, but at the same time, you don't want to be bunched up so you don't all get hit by so many of his attacks. So they managed to kill one of the Gungnirs, I killed one of the other ones, and we can power down this last one super quick, remove the bleed effect in the entire arena. And we're still dodging AoEs. And heaven help me, it is really rough keeping uh, Greased Lightning up in this fight. You can, though. There are a lot of fights where you simply cannot keep Greased Lightning up. You're pulled off the ball so often. We've lost a DPS. The DPS is back up. We're getting another Einherar going out, so we're about to be bleeding again. Um, as I mentioned before, there's just so much damage going out between the various bleeds and just the raid damage like that that just hits everyone. The tank is getting mauled constantly. It's rough. And I don't want the tank or anybody to ever think, oh, I can live through one of these. I'll just get hit by this one, I guess, since it's going to be hard to get out of the way. And let the, he let the healer heal me back up. Don't bloody do it. If you can make it easier on that healer, you make it easier on that healer. Now, an amount of time into the fight, Odin will run to the center of the arena and start casting Shin Zintatsuken. As I mentioned, as you saw before, this will kill you if it goes off. If he's below about 20% of his, or if he's above about 20% of his HP, you just have no chance. And you can see how freaking close we take this, finish him off! Come on! Come on! We limit breaked him. He did everything we could. If you have to use the healer limit break in this fight, you're not going to win. You need that limit break for the last phase. As I mentioned before, the reward is glamour gear. You can see the stats of it there. But um, that is Earth's Fount, the Odin fight. Until next time, everyone. <laughs>